All right, Dipsy D, thanks for coming and checking in with us, man. How you Listen, living? I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing? Good, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want me to look in here? You want me to look at you? Look, look. You, you can look at me or you can look in there. You know, like okay. I said, it's real casual. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. All right, so let's just start off from the beginning. Um, Tell everybody, you know, where you from, who you are, what your upbringing was like, you know, coming from where you from, and what led to you getting into the whole music thing. Okay, well, uh, I'm from Hope Mills, North Carolina, you know what I'm saying, uh, the south side of Fayetteville. Uh, grew up in St. Paul's, really, you know what I'm saying, moved to the Hope Mills when I was like 10, 9, 10, and then I really just was raised in the Mills, you know what I'm saying, uh, Big, uh, played baseball as a sports guy, football guy, you know, growing up, uh, really in the sport, really in baseball, baseball, played majority of my life up until I was like 28, you know, and then, uh, shoot, music has always been a part of my life during this whole process of me even growing up, you know, for my family, uh, just cookout functions, I was getting down to it, you know what I'm saying, jigging and jiving, uh, dancing at parties and, uh. You know, my mama cleaned the house, listening to old school, my pops, you know, just being outside and he working on the car or cleaning the car, or just whatever we doing, you know what I'm saying, always music orientated. And I just started, like, writing poetry, you know what I'm saying? That's what uh, kind of led me to, like, uh, my first passion, like, before I started playing sports, I was writing poetry, you know, and then I found baseball and football and then took that until I was, like, 24, like I said, 28, and then, shoot. Now, I've been going at it full full time, you know what I'm saying, since about 2013. And, uh, yeah, I have to say, that's it's been a little grind, you know. It's been a little grind. It was a different, it's a different style, a different life style, you know, from the athlete to just, you know what I'm saying, just. What was that transition like? Mm, tough, man. You know, when you've been an athlete your whole life, you know, then just being a, I guess, I, I, I I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I, I guess we go through the same thing, you know, you're having a job, and but still getting that training in. But the mentality, you know what I'm saying, of being a professional athlete, like. I think it's kind of the same, you know. How, yeah, like, when it you, is. When you're an athlete, you want to be on a certain regimen with your gym and everything. Yeah. When you're a rapper, you want to be in a certain regimen with being in the studio. studio yeah, place. working on your craft, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I have to say I had to understand, like, when I stopped playing uh, uh, baseball, you know what I'm saying, I had to find my, like, what am I doing? What am I going to do with my time? And that's when I was like, okay, what do I really love to do? So I had to really tap into other things of who I was, you know what I'm saying? Because at one time I thought I was just an athlete, you feel yeah. me? So uh, finally tapped into it, you know, and just uh, at Western Carolina University, shout out to Catamounts, go Cats, you know what I'm saying? Uh, started rapping in 2013, you know? Oh. And then, uh, like, for real, for real, like, I told, I was like, he's always freestyle, but then I was like, you know, I'm going to really let this ride, so, yeah. I love what you're doing, man, and I know all of the um, social media and everything on your videos and everything, all I've been seeing is hashtag, you know, the Dipsy Challenge and the Dipsy Roll. Can you, you know, break down to us what that's all about? Yeah, man, so the uh, the Dipsy Roll and the Dipsy Challenge, really, uh, the Dipsy Challenge is a compilation of... 52 tracks that I accumulated over the year last year. Uh, 12 music videos that I accumulated. Um, <clears throat> I dropped a single every Friday, all clean music, you know, no cussing. Uh, 12 music videos the last day of each month. So, and I'm a, more so instead of an artist, man, I'm an entertainer. Yeah. You know, I, I would like to say I'm an entertainer because, you know, I do more than one thing, you know. Um, I act, you know, I write scripts. I Take, do photography work, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get into my video bag, but I, I write music for people, you know what I'm saying? I play the piano, so like... <clears throat> yeah, I saw you said you, you produced two. Did you um, produce any of those records that the videos were for? Uh, yeah, so Landmine... I know, I know, I know, I, I, the one I think I saw was um, the one that had Oso in it. Yeah, we yeah we up yeah we up. I produced that. That joke was crazy. Yeah, yeah appreciate it, bro. That, oh, and it's crazy how it came up. Like it was just a gloomy day. Like my favorite day of the week is a cloudy Tuesday, bro. Like mm -hmm. my favorite day. I just a lot of good stuff happens to me on Tuesdays. You feel me? Like shout out to Tuesdays. You know. So uh, it was just Tuesday, bro. I got in the bag and I was just listening for. I wanted to hear something like doom 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 doom. 
And that's how I had in my head all day, 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 day. And I'm talking about, yeah, I finally just laid that down. And it, it took off from there. And when I hit also up, I went over there, pulled up to his crib, and I laid it down. And I'm talking about, he wouldn't even let me. I, it didn't even get all the way to even the beat dropping, dog. He done hit the space bar. He said, bro, I need it. I said, can I give it? I said, bro, I ain't even really heard it on speakers yet. Let me get a chance. But when we played it, he said, we got to make something of this. And then he was just walking to the house. He was like, we up, man. Yeah. Hey, that's it. That's it, bro. And then we just went from there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, It's a dope record. Yeah, man. dope record. You know, and then out of the 52, you know, I, uh, shoot, a uh, landmine. Like I said, landmine. Um, uh, standards. Uh, in the wind. Penny for your thoughts. That's uh, towards the end. End of days. These are all uh, beats I made. Um, mm-hmm. And, oh, so you produce all the records? Yeah, all those records I produce okay. off the, uh, throughout the Dipsy Challenge. Okay. And like I said, uh, I'm a vibe, man. You know, the challenge more so for the Dipsy Challenge was dropping a song every Friday. You know, being consistent at it, how hard it was to write a song, to write a song. You know, anybody can drop down lyrics, but to write a song every uh, Friday, you know, and being consistent, just challenging myself. I was, in a, I'm a, I was in a league of my own, and I still feel like I'm in a league of my own because, uh, yeah, there is <clears throat> Christian rap, you know, there is a uh, gospel rap. There is, you know, I guess uh, conscious music. But I mean, I like an artist. You know, uh, I speak the truth. You know, if it's wrong, it's wrong. If the truth, is what it is, the truth is what it is. You what's, know, what's the truth? The truth is the word of God. You know, the truth is the word of God. I, I just want to say this. Yeah, I just want to say this. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Don't give it to man. You give it a. You give it to God every time. Okay. So yeah, I do that before I perform. Before I do anything, you know, I just want to. Drop seed uh, of knowledge into people, man. You know, because there's so many lost souls, bro. I hear you'd be yeah. surprised at how many people are oblivious to, though. To be oblivious to the signs. You know, I don't know who God is. Or I don't see God. And God be walking every day around you. When you see somebody else speaking to you, God. You're in the creation. So, yeah. <clears throat> that's, one of, that's one of the things I loved about your music was, like I said, almost all the songs had a big message of salvation in it. You know, yeah, bro. At the end of the day, that's what was still, doing. like, just... Hot hip hop music that was fun. Yeah, know? bro. Yeah. I want you to catch a vibe with my music. You know what I'm saying? Some of it was hard too. Like I said, that yeah. like the like the um, the one I was saying, Chanka Ishan joint was hard. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the hot pits. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Fit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fit. Uh, she's a uh, crazy. I like, I, she. I like, but, but, I'm gonna tell you why I asked you. Um, do you consider yourself um, a Christian rapper? Because um, all of it was dope, and all of it had so many different flavors. But you had some that was almost to the point of like praise and worship mm-hmm. some that was like had, had a christian tone to it but then you also had some that was just like fun joints like the joint where you was like dressed up like the pimp yeah yeah and I yeah, was like, yeah. Oh, like vibe yeah, yeah, soap, you know yeah, yeah facts yeah that was that was totally like and shout out fit made that beat too so uh yeah fit hicks she had to want to fit hicks you know what i'm saying she's fire from uh detroit she from the d and uh big sis like she uh made that beat with Smooth Man. That was crazy how she did that. You know, she just put it on, and we was in there one morning, and I was over there, and I'm talking, I just blurred it out. You know what I'm saying? You're smooth. I, it, and she stopped it. She said, bro, you have to lay that down. And I just laid it down just like that, raw, off the top. You know what I'm saying? All that was off the top. The video like, came out perfect, too. Yeah. That looked like um the bowling eye. I forgot the name. The bowling eye. But uh, the video came out perfect. Yeah, bro. Shout out, out to Hav. You know, shout out to... Uh, if y'all don't know who Hav is, Hav is a video director. Uh, shout out to Oso, shout out to Dre, shot that. Um, yeah, they they all helped me out through the Dipsy Challenge. Uh, is Hav out the Ville too? Hav's out the Ville. Yeah, okay, Hav's he's dope. I, I like the other yeah. one too, like the, the yeah. one and only, the one that was yeah. on the boat. That was high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one day, good yeah, too. crazy. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, he did eight of them. So he did right. eight of them. You know, we got a good relationship. You know, and and hey, bro, I appreciate what you did for me. Real ones know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, he, I had told him a vision I had, you know. Uh, I, I, I'm out here trying to push it as much as I can. He wanted to get his catalog as well, you know what I'm saying. So it was like one, uh, helping to help it, you know what I'm saying. So it was a blessing, bro. So this year, you know, I did a lot last year, you know, shows, interviews last year, and uh, this year I'm just pushing the Dipsy Challenge. You know, like I said, I dropped 52 last year, 12 music videos. I invested hard last year. So I'm pushing all that, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to Are you doing the same thing this year? No. I got enough from last year that they gotta catch up, you feel me? Just, just going real. hard. I'm just going hard. I'm gonna push I'm gonna push the Dipsy Challenge. And you know, every chance I get to talk to people, you know, 
I network. You know, I got business cards. Uh, you're about to see the Dipsy Challenge everywhere throughout the city. So go ahead and get ready. There's going to be posters, billboards, all that. So what, what about the Dipsy Roll? I know I've been seeing all the, like, not the, on the Instagram, all the videos, everybody doing the Dipsy Roll. Yes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. So the Dipsy Roll, man, so the Dipsy Roll, it was, it was very tough. You know, that, that right there was very tough. I didn't know. I really didn't know the Dipsy Roll was going to happen, to be real, this year. I didn't know if I was going to drop the Dipsy Roll this year, you feel me? Or, like, like drop it the last song because I have so many songs, bro, that I want to drop. And it's like, ooh, I just needed that last one in my... And I was like, what's the... Because the last song was going to carry me through this whole year. And that's the only song I was going to be performing, you feel me? So, I was like, I need something... I wanted to drop something and make something that's like for me, you know. Yeah. And I just so happened I was washing my car one day, bro, and I put on like the '90s hip hop mix, and all I heard was "Hot Dog Dog Up, Let's Go, Let's Just Hit the Tootsie Roll." Tootsie Roll. Yeah, 1994. <laughs> Shout out to the '69 boys, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's who inspired me. That's who inspired me, you know, for the Dipsy Roll. You know, uh, uh, I made sure that it was original. It was original, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that uh, even the words, you know what I'm saying? Everything. I just caught the uh, essence of the vibe and uh. I wanted to bring back that life, you know, right when you hear, hop up, come on, let's go, you know, it automatically puts you in that role of the, yeah, 19, it, it puts you in that space of, oh, yeah, we about to party right here, you know, the cotton candy sweet is gold, it put, so I want classic, you to, bro. classic, so I want this to be, I wanted the Dipsy Roll to be like a modern day, you know what I'm saying, when you hear it, but also, you know, a new swing of, Enlightenment as well, you know. Cause I'm speaking the truth in that, you know what I'm saying? Cause it, you know, I be saying like, <sighs> it's it's a, it's a gym, it's a gym, you know what I'm saying? I wanted that to be like a timeless track, you know. So even in that, like you coming with a good message. Yeah, even that with that, it's coming yeah. with a good message, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what I feel like we the 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 population needs, you know what I'm saying? Not only a good track, good flow, good beat, but a good message, you know what I'm saying? Cause. From the nineties to now, yeah, we were lost then, but we really lost yeah, now, bro. Changed a lot. Bro, we were lost then, but we barely lost now. You know, now, it's I worldwide. Was, it's I was worldwide. watching this thing the other day about Mortal Kombat, and they was talking about how, like how back in the nineties when Mortal Kombat came out, people were so tripping over that little cartoon blood in the game. Yeah. But compared to Mortal Kombat now, where it's like realistic, yeah. like the captain. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Changed, man, it lot. has, you know, with cinema and everything, man. Gas prices, good lord. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Food, eggs, what? Well, let me ask you this. This is one thing I want to ask you too. Don't do it like that. And um, and this is no homo. But one thing I can tell from you is you got a lot of style, a lot of flavor. Not not even um, you know, a lot of cat like you you could dress, and a lot of cats, you know, not to say they could dress, they could say because they spend a lot of money on what they dress. But you don't even not to say spend a lot of money, but you know how to really put it together. Yeah, yeah. What is all that style? And Man, so it's just uh, where does that come from? Really, so. Uh, my big thing, man, the new Heavy D. You feel me? Like, if you don't know what Heavy <laughs> D is, like, dude could move, dude had a vibe, dude had a presence, you know what I'm saying? He was a light, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the IOU, this is the brand, IOU. Oh, yeah. You know, this is this is who dressed me, this is what the ideas come from, you know. That's the majority of what you be having on. Yeah, every know? time you see me, I don't care if you, you like, man, that's the only shirt. He, hey, you going to see it every day until you cop some merch, you feel me? Like, it's so like, so like the joint you got on now, like yeah, the, I'll use where, 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 where you get that? What can, yeah, I, go, so where can I go buy that? So you can go to the www dot it is on dot us, uh, and you can go into the like these three little the menu bar, the topic bars. You click that and go down to Dipsy D. When you go down to Dipsy D, you can go down and it'll say like customize, or you know what I'm saying. You can click into the website and send us a message. Tell us what you want, you know what I'm saying? Describe what you want, and we'll email you back with custom. 24 hours. Yeah, custom. Is, it, um, is that your record label name, too? Yeah, IOU Generation. Gotcha. Yeah, so uh, it starts with you, it ends with us. You have the power to push your passion. It's on us to achieve greatness is our motto. You know, uh, Who's that? Who was that other than you? My wife. Shout out to my wife. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my kids, my wife. I love y'all. You know, she is co-founder with me. You know, her idea, you know what I'm saying, really. Um got the label, you know, a uh, family friend, gave her the idea, you know what I'm saying, power, passion, red, strong, you know what I'm saying, standing for something and end up coming, you know, we heard, we had a few people, you know, what do you see when you see it? You know, when you're looking at it. I, I mean, it looks, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a happy face on some levels, 
I mean, what 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 is it supposed to be? Yeah, about? yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's it's I O U. You know what I'm saying? But it's like uh, some people say it was like a pick with a man with a fro. You know what I'm saying? Like an afro. You know what I'm saying? Like we said, it, said somebody said it was like a Gucci sign. Like you have some Gucci. You know, uh, but it's really a power button. Like you have the power to turn on. You know what I'm saying? You have the power That's to push cool. your passion. You know, and whatever that is, like. If you are, um, if you'd like to be in culinary school, you know what I'm saying, you want to be a cook, man or female, you know what I'm saying, you have the power to push your passion. If you, if you like to be laid back and don't want to do too much, bro, and really like your, um, your job at, uh, like phone centers and talking to people, bro, be the best out of it, you feel yeah, me? 100%. Whatever is you, be you. It's for you. If it's for you, it's for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody can't tell you how to be you. Nobody can't tell you how to be happy. Nobody can't tell you. Really, it's just somebody's opinion, y'all. You know, we got to stop being emotional, getting our feelings from people just speaking their opinions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know who you are, right? The people who don't know who them, themselves, you know what I'm saying? Those are the people who get really uptight, you know what I'm saying? So You have to stop being so yeah. offended. So offended, man. Just uh, take it for a grain of salt. I appreciate you. You know, you don't see my vision. You don't see where I'm standing at right now in this moment, so... Yeah. I, I see it though, man. I, I like everything. I see what you're doing. I, another thing about your style that's dope is it's musically it's so very like some of it is it like it's like some you know straight dance records, some backpacks, some hard yeah, hip hop. Where, where do all that musical influence come from? Um, uh, Lottie Dottie, uh, Slick Rick, Dougie Fresh, uh, you know, Phil Collins, bro. Word. Um, the Eagles, um. Aerosmith, Smith, Luther Vandross, uh, Run DMC. I mean, I can go on for days. Michael Jackson, huge influence on my life. You know what I'm saying? Just in really music videos. That's what really gets me. You know, I don't know if you've seen the music video Night. Yeah. You no. Know, yeah. So that was my little rendition. Is that life. where you with the weeds with the girl and the girl? Yeah, that's my wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was trying I'm, to. I'm kind of real different and start to transform. Yeah, yeah. I try to try to do a little something. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I want to do something different with each music video. I want to be an entertainer, man. I don't want to just be an artist dropping music and being with the homeboys in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can do that, bro. And when people ask me, I, I always tell them artistry, bro. My influences as artists is like you know like Dre and like Wu Tang yeah. and all that, but. My biggest musical influence is all that Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers my dad was showing okay. me as a kid because the, vid the videos were so crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, The Temptations, like, I fell in love with it. Shout out to my boy Logan, too, who put me on to The Temptations and Dougie Fresh. Like, that was the first, like, Lottie Dottie was the first hip hop song I ever memorized. Yeah. It was crazy. And then LL Cool J, you know, I thought he was very hard. My dad always boomed that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shoot. Uh, was a public enemy. It was yeah. blooming hard at the crib, you know what I'm saying? But Earth, Wind, and Fire, for sure. Okay, so that's why I have to say, as far as my sound and why I feel like I like very intricate sounds and a lot of stuff. People would say clashing together, but I just feel like if they were live instruments, you know what I'm saying? It sounds so much melodic. But yeah, that's me. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It's my little way. So yeah, very influential. Yeah, that's. I mean, I couldn't, I can't think of a day, you know, oh, I have to say, uh, one more person would be, um, for a second there, it was, what's my man's name? Uh, Otis Redding. Okay. Yeah. I was listening to everything of Otis, you hear me? Yeah. And it got to a point where it was like, you know, you can never put those times back, but I'm thinking about using some samples, though, so. That's, that, that's what Jay and them use on that, on that yes. one song sample right on yeah. that one song yeah, yeah, some so, samples, yeah. yeah crazy sample so yeah. you know like I said I'm just trying to trying to make my own way my own style it's Dipsy you know I don't want to be when people be like you know, he sounds the same bro I got 52 tracks and if you listen to from track number one Living Slight or Slight Living however you read it if you're dyslexic all the way to <laughs> the, 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 the to the Dipsy role you feel me like 52 and I mean, it's up to you, bro. You know. Yeah, you got something like, for everybody. Everybody, you know, everybody. Feeling, I got some country stuff, some slow stuff, some feeling stuff, pain music, up to be. If you're getting dressed, brushing your hair, waking up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Playing with your kids, just something to ride too. I'm definitely a rider. I got. <laughs> like, if you played the whole Dipsy Challenge, I think it's like four, four hours and thirty minutes. So, put me on your road, y'all, and just listen to it. You can play. You can hear some bangers. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Yeah. So, so um. 
as far as being from um, Hope Mills and um, who who's who, who's the other dope artist out from the Hope Mills area that we that we know of? Mm, R.I.P. to my boy Guru Gorilla. Okay. Uh, uh, R.I.P. to my brother Fly June. Um, I'd say, uh. Just some artists. I'm gonna throw some artists out there. Uh, Day Uno, you know, okay. Day yeah, One. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he, you know what I'm saying, the Mills. He from the Mills. We got uh, that I listen to. You know what I'm saying? People I know. You got uh, shout out to Sean Andy, Blunt X Minded out there. You okay. know what I'm saying? The Mills. You got Sue. Uh, I'm trying to think of people that can do. You know what I'm saying? I don't listen to too many artists, bro. Yeah. Um, that's all I know that's really in the mills that I could say I personally like their music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's probably a couple more artists in the mills. There's some young cats in the mills. Uh, uh, was it Teddy Blue Bands? Uh, yeah, I love... Uh, I know it's a lot of dope cats in St. Paul's, too. Yeah. Cause, um, yeah, my, man, yeah. my man Pope was always talking about a lot of dope artists from St. Paul. Yeah, what you know what I'm saying? Man, that's the fire. You know, my boy, uh, Swoop Flame, live with my brother. You know, he recently just moved to the Mills, you know what I'm saying? So he from the east side, though. I think yeah. I heard that joke you had with him on, on YouTube, too. It was like just Yeah, Revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Revelation is a powerful song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really, that's his beat, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, we went crazy on that. That's uh, Yeah, man, so that's about it, myself. I listen to myself a lot, majority of the time. You know, I'm my own artist, and I and I write a lot too. So, yeah. I be always in my head. So it's really like people send me their stuff. I listen to it, and it's like. So I know I like the joint you got with Oso. Who who else? Oh oh, shout out to the fourth. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, coming out of the mills. Yeah, coming out the okay, mills. Okay. Yeah, I can't forget my boy the fourth. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely slept on. He been doing it way before. I only been doing it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. the Almighty Trooper. You know, cause five out there. He's a battle rapper, you know what I'm saying? He made music, though, so 500 all day. Let's get it. So, what I was saying is, um, I love that joke you got with Oso. What, what other um, rappers in the deal have you worked with or do you want to work with? Um, Man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know how people perceive me. You know, they say one thing and they mean another thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are fake out here. Mm -hmm. I'm being straight <laughs> up honest with you. You know, when you see me, you know, I, I'm the same with everybody. You know, if... I feel like you throwing shade. I don't say nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to speak, we can speak. You know, a lot of people don't keep their word. When I ain't name dropping, but people don't keep their word. And you know who y'all are. You know, yeah. uh, a lot of interactions are just fake in between. The, you know how it is, crab in the bucket out here, man. You know, uh, but there's a lot of great artistry out here. You know, um, as far as features, I thought about you know doing features with people, but. This is the thing. There's artists out here that songs are not even registered that people are hyping up like they that, mm -hmm. you know. There's people out here that ain't got a paycheck for their music yet or don't be consistently dropping music or I don't see them posting nothing. You know what I'm saying? They ain't out here working. I don't hear about people telling me about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, or just being a name drop. Uh, it's like, what are you doing outside? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they want you to pay for features. Or yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, come on, bro. At least if you have some motion, I get understand. If you have some motion... You you got some people, you know what I'm saying? I get I get a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars for a feature. I get it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm about to probably do some stuff with Nisi Brown. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nisi Brown, she been going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh me and also got some crazy stuff coming up. Um I really really want I wanna really I really wanna work with um I've been trying to get up with Uno man, different lane, you know what I'm saying? I just want to see the creation, you know what I'm saying? See, my lane is different. Like I said, people perceive me as a Christian artist, a gospel artist. So they think that's the only thing I speak on. But if y'all listen to my music, I just speak on the message, you know what I'm saying? I'm just always going to give it to him. Like every situation and anything can give be gave glory to God. Every yeah. situation, you know what I'm saying? The cup is always half full for your mistakes and then the rest is him, you feel me? So yeah. just give it, pay honor where honors do. And so, yeah, I don't think people understand, you know, once you get saved, everything you do yeah. will be giving glory to God, but yeah. you're still in the world living. Yeah. You're still, you know. Yeah, Tez Money, my boy Tez Money, we got a song called uh, Vibes, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, we got a couple songs coming out. Uh, he from the mills too. God bless. God about Tez, sorry, bro. Come on, he is fire. He don't get out a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? So, 
he he but he's fired. I'm gonna hear him though. He got some crazy stuff. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shoot, there's a dude named uh, K Dog. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not K Dog. <laughs> that was his old name. K Kemper is his new name. You know what I'm saying? He make music. You know, I'm just shouting out people. Well, I'm saying hopefully, no they, hopefully they see this and they're like, okay, he ready to yeah, work. Yeah, I'm not no shade. No, no, I'm not working. I'm not working with none of them. No, no, no I'm talking yeah. about the people that you the name, the people, <coughs> the people that you name. Oh, name drop. Yeah, they, they'll, they'll, they'll see. They understand, like, yo, yo, but yeah, let's link some up. Of them, I yeah, see some, boy, he ready to work. Let's link up. Let's yeah, work. for yeah, sure. But yeah, some of them I never work with. I never work with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I respect y'all's music because I do music and we out here pushing our passions. But hey, I can't do it. Y'all know how y'all are. I know how y'all move, and like I said. It's just what it is, bro. I know how people move, man. I don't see nobody moving. I don't see nobody making, pushing their passion. Yeah. You know, if I'm out here busting my tail and I'm really doing it, bro, and I got three kids and a wife, bro, and I got a job, I got two jobs. You know what I'm saying? Bro, there's no, there's no. And they doing half of what come you on. doing. That's a show they not really Yeah, awesome. and not even half. Yeah. Come on, bro. Like, I really, I, I'm not honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'm getting paid shows. I got three paid shows this year already. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I've already had three paid shows this year. I'm like, I've been on tour with people, bro. I'm not trying to be one of those people, bro, but I don't never really shoot my shot at people. But this year is my year, bro. I'm coming for it, bro. So if you don't like it, it is what it is. Like, the Dipsy Roll, you're going to get tired of hearing it. Like I said, this is, this is a song that I'm putting everybody on to, bro. It's going to, it's consistency. You know, what I show, if anything, is how consistent. See, that's what it takes. That's what it takes, you know what I'm saying? 52 tracks, you know. What's his name? Did uh, 300, didn't he? Uh, 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 Russ. Russ did 300. He did 300 consecutive. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And then he got his, like, big chance. But it's like, how how far are we going to push this? You know what I'm saying? I am willing to work with people, you know what I'm saying? But I want you to know that I'm not playing, bro. Like, if we're going to do it, we're going to push it. We're going to do something about it. You know what I'm saying? What Let's about, not waste about, nobody's time. But what about in the game, like artists in the game, like outside of the field, like big artists? Who would you like to work with in the game? I'd like to work with uh, Big Crit. Dope. Real dope. Fire. I'd like to yeah. work with... Uh, um, He's a producer too, Big yeah, Crit. Yeah. yeah. Andy, I think that Andy Minnow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, He's with... Um, Reach, Reach, Reach yeah, Records. Yeah. Um I like to work with uh one K Pew, you know, I'll hit him up. Uh who then Trans Lee. He's off of Grand Hustle. He he with Grand Hustle. Um official Grain. He out there at Atlanta. Oh, these are all conscious all the chance the rapper. These these are all some like artists that you got kinda of, you know, Yeah, I'm my, my yeah, for, yeah. Yeah, some type of you know, uh I like the uh Joey Bad. You know what I'm saying? I like to rock with him. You know, he got a couple songs that I brought with. Uh there's some girls I like to write, like Ari, uh, Ari Lennox. Mm -hmm. I, like to, I like to drop some fire with her scissor. I like to drop some fire with her. Yeah. You know, so uh, the kid Lee, you know, she close around here. So she from she from the Ville, you know. Uh, there's a dude named Kyra in the light. Mm, I've seen him all over TikTok. Yeah, he's yeah. Dope. He be doing those freestyles on TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyra. Hey, bro, he see it, bro. Let's go. Yeah. I know you got some bars for it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, I mean... I wouldn't mind hopping, you know what I'm saying, Dax. Mm -hmm. Dax crazy with it. I yeah. like I like those videos. He do the one-shot videos where it's like the one-take ones. Yeah, it's Lord. Be dope. Yeah, even yeah. if they're 14 minutes or anything. Yeah. Like, hey, that's, that's, that's crafty right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just craftsmanship. Oh, Tony Wavy. There's a dude from, well, I met him in Charlotte. And, uh, he out there in like uh, Kentucky, I think now. But uh, he's fire. Y'all I'll check Tony Wavy out. Fire. He's a, a real artist. Like, he does murals. He paints and stuff like Pictures and stuff like the the, the yeah. one that stood out on there was Big Crit. Why Big Crit? Big Crit, cause bro, Big Crit his uh his style his style is like first of all, I think Crit be a cool cat just to kick with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just have a conversation with. But I feel like the way he thinks about the way he thinks about music, I think he portrays it very well in his music, and mm -hmm. I think uh, his messages he he takes you on that story. You know what I'm saying? I think if we come to some type of agreement where, you know what I'm saying, I'm in a room, my, off my ideas, we bouncing off each other, you know what I'm saying, we can make a masterpiece, bro, for real. Trust, I yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a song off of my, the Dipsy Challenge, you know, my boy called Enoch, it's called Help. You know, that's, that's one of the toughest songs as far as, like, messages, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he came on there and he absolutely snapped, you know, uh, but it's just like, everybody needs some help, 
And it don't matter if it's help getting in the door, help uh, putting a promo out. Like, it don't cost nothing to help push somebody's brand, bro. We got all these social media platforms, y'all. Y'all already be on your phone. How hard is it to just push the little triangle button and just tag until you can't tag the one and just put in? Yeah. How hard is that, dog? Yeah. It's not that hard, man. You yeah. know, people just don't want to do it. Yeah. And cut those people off. <laughs> all right, it's not that time for the season. It's, we over that. That was that was years ago, really. You know, we just been running the mouse trap. So, but yeah, big crit. I know, I know, I was on a little tangent, but yeah, big <laughs> crit. No, uh, big crit is definitely like well, he's one of the top in the south. Underrated, you know? underrated, very underrated, underrated, underrated. You know what I'm saying? People don't even understand how he coming and how you think you know. But his style is crazy. The way he dresses is crazy, and his flow cadences and styles is crazy. So he really, to me, he like. Um, I, and I know J. Cole is from the South, but he's more like the Southern J. Cole. He like the, you know. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. He, he on that. He's like J. Cole with like, you know, over Pimp C type beats. You know what I'm saying? Salsa Waka. Don't dope, say super salsa. dope, super dope. Dog. He got some hard stuff that, that slow. The one he did when he had he was rapping on the mic in front of the Cadillac. Yeah. What? I th- hard. I think hard. This is a good time for him. He's getting a little respect right now. This is a good time for him. Mm-hmm. If he can stay out of trouble and everything. Man. You know, how that, you know how that be, though. Yeah. So, yeah, bro. So, so any anything you want to say to the people? Like, any inspirational words you want to break the... You want to show us a Dipsy Roll? Anything else you want to do before we sign out there? Ah, uh, shoot, man. <laughs> Can't show the uh, Dipsy Roll music video. It's coming this year. Uh, We're going to let it keep rolling. You know what I'm saying? And then right when it gets to... It start getting a little fire. We're going to blow real hot. And when it gets hot, we're going to drop it. We're going to drop it. Uh, hopefully by June. You know, I wanted to drop the June, uh, probably going back to school. But um now nah, I'll be looking for interviews, be looking out for uh podcast interviews. Um I'm gonna be doing dropping a lot of photography work, uh artists, y'all need photography work, you know what I'm saying? On spot live, uh video shots, you know what I'm saying? Um You need some clothes, pushing out a lot of IOU merch this year, you know what I'm saying? But I got a collab with Heartbreak, uh we're gonna be dropping in like March or April. Um, let me say this: you you don't have to be where you're from. You feel me? You can be who you are, but you don't have to be where you're from. You feel me? You are the light to a dark place. Every day is, is every day might not be the best day, but every day is a day of growth. Every day is a day of lessons. Every day is a day of life. If you're hearing this, you're seeing this. I love you. God loves you. You have a chance. Uh, if you don't know where to tap in, uh, repent from your sins. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe, try them out. You know what I'm saying? I tell everybody this too, bro. You know, <clears throat> if you don't believe, you know what I'm saying? Pray for something. If you even don't believe, just pray for something. And pray for it meaningful. And be it from your heart. Don't tell nobody. And pray for it. Pray for it a couple times. Don't tell nobody. Watch when it happens. When it happens, you'll know. You'll know who it's from. You know he's Lord. You know what I'm saying? So do it for yourself, you know. Uh this is a season of believing, this is a season of reaching, this is a se- a season of changing your life. This is the year of changing your life. If it didn't happen before, this is the year to change your life. Let's do it now. Let's do it now and carry good energy, good thoughts, good admiration, affirmations, all that. Don't do it like that energy into it, alright? I like I said. It starts with you, it ends with us. You have the power to push your passion. It's on us to achieve greatness. This is your boy, D-I-P-S-E-Y-D. You can follow me on all platforms at D-I-P-S-E-Y-D. Uh, two albums out. The the world's not safe anymore. Into the dojo. 52 tracks out. The Dipsy Roll. Hop up, come on, let's go. Let's just hit that Dipsy Roll. Hop on up, come on, let's go. Let's just hit that Dipsy. That's my cue. Hey. God bless. Jesse D, man. Thank yes, you for checking in with us, man. Appreciate hey, you, man. Don't do it like that. Thank you. Yes, sir.